I've loved books for a long time, but for everybody, there are going to be those certain books or those certain series which really got you into reading, which opened up the whole world of books and reading. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top five books which really inspired me as a child to start reading. The top five books of my childhood. These books are all books that I read when I was a preteen or when I was a young teenager and they really inspired me to start reading and really made me fall in love with books absolutely and completely. This first series I'm going to talk about is probably in every single person of my age group's book series which have influenced their life and that is Harry Potter by JK Rowling. Harry Potter really shaped my reading life or it really shaped my life in general to be honest with you. I didn't read before I read Harry Potter. When I was in primary school I wasn't a reader, I wasn't any good at English, I was terrible at spelling but picking up Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the first time. It just changed my life completely. Harry Potter completely changed my life. And I'm not just saying that to be dramatic, or I'm not just saying that in a dramatic floof, but Harry Potter really did change my life. And I think it first started with Order of the Phoenix. I think I did read Harry Potter before then, but this book is when I really became obsessed with Harry Potter and really became obsessed with reading. I remember waiting for this book to come out. I think I was in year seven or eight and I remember it coming out and I remember going to Woolworths and picking it up after swimming with my friends and I just, this book I think made me really become just so into Harry Potter and a complete Potter head. Like even now I'm a complete Harry Potter nerd but it did have the whole series inspired me to start reading. I never read at all before this series but since reading this I went to the library all the time. I hung out at the library. That was my hangout when I was an early teenager. I've going on the computers playing Neopets or renting out books from the teen section. So Harry Potter completely changed my life and it's the most amazing series I've ever read. It's my favourite book series, it always will be my favourite book series and just thank you JK Rowling for writing it. The next book series I'm going to talk about is Darren Shan. I remember getting Cirque du Freak, the first book out of the school library and me and my friends at the time became obsessed with it. Like we used to talk, this is the first time we started talking about books. We started talking about the series with each other. It's just a series that stands out in my childhood and it really got me into the whole vampire side of books. From that moment on, throughout being a teenager, I pretty much nearly exclusively read vampire and fantasy kind of books. And I think Darren Shan really influenced that. I think I might reread it soon, actually, because it's a really good story. It definitely deserved a mention in this video. The next book is a series that I read probably early high school, I reckon, probably about year seven and eight. I used to always get these out of the local library, and it was the Animorphs series. This is the only book from the series I I actually own because I used to just get them all out of the library but I really liked this series. I loved this series. I never actually watched the TV show. Apparently it was a TV show. Never actually saw that but I always used to get these books out of the library and I was just pretty obsessed with the characters and the whole series. They're quite short so they are short children's books but they're really good and again these are books that really stand out to me from my childhood that I remember and that I used to be obsessed with. The next book is a classic and that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is actually the copy that my dad originally gave me when I was about seven or eight I think but I could never get into it like I didn't really like reading back then but after I read Harry Potter, Animorphs then I gave it another go and I could not put it down. Like for the few days that I was reading it I couldn't put it down and it just really got me into fantasy books. Not so much the whole vampire paranormal thing, but things with elves, goblins, dwarves, hobbits, and I loved it. And I still love The Hobbit. This is still one of my favorite books to date. This is the original copy my dad got me back in the day, and I think it's illustrated. Yeah, it's like an illustrated big hardback book, but I just love it. And it's so much easier to read than Lord of the Rings. As much as I love Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit is always going to be my favourite J.R.R. Tolkien book. And I love Tolkien, I love Lord of the Rings, I love Middle Earth, I love that whole land. And it's been one of my obsessions growing up through being a teenager. But The Hobbit is definitely my favourite one of his books. And I just love it. And it's so easy to read. It is basically a children's book. Like, it's meant to be a children's book, but it's really easy read. So much easier than Lord of the Rings. It just really got me into fantasy and definitely amazing book, love it. Finally, I'm going to talk about 
more of an author than a book series because I started reading this author probably when I was about 12 or 13. This is more going on to mid-teens when I really started to get into YA paranormal and fantasy books and that is LJ Smith. Now I read primarily two of her series which was the Vampire Diaries and the Night World series. I'm still waiting for this last book you know it's been over 10 years and I'm still waiting for this last book it's just not happened yet. I know there has been a lot of drama with her around um, Vampire Diaries actually got taken away from her but I haven't read many of the recent Vampire Diaries books mostly because they're written by a ghostwriter but I think I just kind of ended it with the reunion but this really again got me into more older vampires so Darren Shant was very childlike it was very based around Darren Shant as a child whereas this is more based around teenage vampires so it's got more of the romance element to it. LJ Smith really got me into the whole paranormal kind of side of YA books and I used to always get her books out of the library and I used to search for other similar books or other authors which are similar. Again these are books which really stand out for me from my childhood and they really influence my kind of reading style now because I still read a lot of paranormal YA and I still read a lot of vampire based YA. It's probably my favourite genre of YA. Probably my favourite genre of anything really because I went on to read all like Charlene Harris and Anne Rice and this kind of predecessed my love for Anne Rice and Charlene Harris and books along those lines. Well she's a very influential author in my reading life or in my teenage reading life. That was it for this video. Seems like it's been a little bit errant and all over the place but some of these book series I haven't read for years and I think I might actually go back and reread some soon. I feel like rereading a bit. I hope you like this video and I shall see you next time. Bye!